Hello everyone! It's Lily here from Southside's Kids Club with a Kids Club craft video today. And the craft that we will be making today will be these fantastic and totally rawsome tiger masks. If you decide that you would like to make your very own one of these, here are some of the things that you are going to need. So first of all, you're going to need your very own paper plate. This is of course going to become the face of your tiger. Find yourself either some orange paint or some orange colouring in pens, whichever you've got at home. And also some black card that you can cut out into different shapes to become the tiger's whiskers and all of its fur detail around its face. And you will also need some scissors to cut out your card, but also to create the eye holes on your tiger's mask. All of the details can be found on the article on the Southside Shopping Centre website in the What's On section under the Kids Club section. And today I will be reading this fantastic story of the tiger who came to tea by Judith Kerr. So make sure you're sitting comfortably and get ready to listen to this story. Are you ready? Right, here we go. You can also practice your tiger roars as we listen to this story. Here is how it goes. Right. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Oh, can you make the noise that your doorbell makes whenever it rings? Ding dong. So Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. Well, it can't be the milkman because he came this morning already. And it can't be the boy from the grocer's because, well, this isn't the day that he comes. Well, it can't be Daddy because Daddy's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Oh, can all of you imagine that you're opening your front door not knowing who's behind it? And Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Imagine how shocked you'd be if there was a tiger at your door. The tiger said, do you think I could come and have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, B -b 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 of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat himself down at the table. Do you think you'd have room at your home for a tiger to sit at your dining table? Look how much room he takes up. Goodness me. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. No, he took all of the sandwiches on the plate. Can you show me your shocked faces, everyone? <gasps> There's a tiger at Sophie's house eating every single sandwich. He took all of the sandwiches and swallowed them up in one great big mouthful. Oh. And then he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. Oh, I wonder if he's just going to take one bun. Something tells me otherwise. But the tiger didn't just take one bun. No, he ate all of the buns on the dish. Goodness me. And then he ate all of the biscuits and all of the cake. And there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger started to drink all the milk in the milk jug and he drank all the tea in the teapot. Oh! And then he looked around the kitchen. Oh, can all of you at home imagine that you're the tiger and you're looking around the kitchen because your belly still isn't full. He looked all around the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all of the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all of the food in the fridge. There was nothing left. And all the packets and all the tins inside the cupboard. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of Daddy's beer. Daddy's not going to be happy. And he drank all the water in the tap. My goodness me, he surely must be full now. And then he said, thank you for my tea. I think I'd better go now. And then he left and he shut the door. <gasps> Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Oh dear. Can everyone say, oh dear. Oh no, whatever will they do? There's poor old Sophie, Sophie's mummy there and she's sweeping up the kitchen around all of the packets that the tiger ate. And Sophie 
found she couldn't even have her bath because the tiger had drunk all of the water in the tap. Oh dear. <gasps> and just then, Sophie's daddy came home. Do you think he's even going to believe when Sophie says what's happened? I'm not sure. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all of the drink. And there's Sophie's daddy looking a bit disappointed. Well, Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. Hey, oh, what a treat. So there they are, getting in their coats, their hats and their scarves, ready to go outside. So they went out into the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their light on and they walked down the road to the cafe. Oh, I wonder, can you spot anything on this page that looks a little bit like that tiger who came to tea? I wonder. And there they are, there's Sophie, Mummy and Daddy strolling down the street. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. Oh, can you say yum, yum. They look like they're having a great time. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. And there's Sophie holding it. I wonder if that would keep the tiger full. But he never did come again. There he is. Wow. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed that story. And I really hope that you decide to make your very own tiger mask um, as our craft this month. If you do decide that you would like to make one of these, please send us any pictures of your tiger masks as we always love seeing the crafts that you lot have been making. Thank you so very much for watching, everyone. Have a lovely day and watch out for any tigers knocking at your door. Thanks, everyone. Bye.